Hello lovely peas, welcome to a new video. Uh, today I am going to be, mm, not sewing, but I am going to be doing something more arts and crafts related, but it sort of ties back in with sewing because I am going to decorate my uh, notions box. So I got the notions box for Christmas from my darling partner and um, it, it is a bit plain, it is just like plain wood. So I'm uh, going to empty this out and uh, go and sand it down and start giving it a bit of a makeover. Because I so very rarely get to do some ASMR for you, I am going to uh, just leave you here for a moment with some outdoor sounds. So I um, had a look at the at the box and it sort of it had like a light sort of finish on it, but it's also um, since it's plain wood, it wasn't finished very nicely. Like it had sort of a coat of something on it, which I'm now taking off. But the the main reason I'm trying to sort of like sand this down is because it has uh, a lot of like raw edges, and I got a couple of splinters from this before as well already. So yeah, it's it's definitely time to give this a bit of a makeover and a bit of a touch up. Yeah, you can actually see where I've been sanding and where the sort of like the, the lacquer or whatever they put on it to finish it is coming off. There is a bunch more of sanding that I did all around, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm, uh, to go ahead and uh, show you this part of the, f of the uh, box because that's the inside there's like you can sort of see there's some loose strands loose splinters of wood which uh, yeah there you can see them which are quite nasty and like I said I've, I've pulled myself a splinter into my fingers with this before so this needs to go and because I don't want to sort of like weaken the the board in there. I'm just going to sort of grab this PVA glue and a small brush. I've got some PVA glue on the back of my hand because I don't want to sort of like slather everything on there immediately but I can see sort of like I'm kind of sticking those down and it's kind of sort of sticking and smooshing them in place uh, so they don't sort of like hang down like that anymore. And it's going over it a few times to sort of like strengthen it a little bit as well and you can see that it's sort of stuck down nicely now sort of like for the life of myself I could not get the camera to focus on this properly I was really glad that I uh, went and did the, the sanding the day before because this is literally the next day uh, it was beautiful sunshine on the day before and then the day after we had snow it was a proper April weekend I'm just starting to sort of do the paint job on, on this and I'm just thinning down some acrylic white paint because I want to give this like a washed effect. Like I don't want to have like a solid white coat on it, I just want to have like a bit of a uh, washed effect so you can see the, the patina, the, the pattern of the wood underneath. So I quite like that sort of, what we call it, shabby chic effect. I don't know shabby something it's washing over that with a white and just taking the, the excess paint off again so it's a very opaque effect of the color I think it's, we call it opaque it was a bit of a pain to get into all the nooks and crannies and especially like 
I didn't want to take the box apart because I was worried that it might split where the, where the screws were. So I didn't take it apart and just went over it a couple of times because where the, those lever arms move, obviously I didn't, like you can see at the top here, um, I obviously didn't sort of get the, the, the paint in there properly. <laughs> It was also very hard to sand. I'm just taking the measurements here for the designs that I'm going to be drawing on. I had um, I had been considering whether I should just paint straight onto the wood, but decided that it would probably be a better idea to um, create some designs previously and then sort of just sketch that out and get an idea of what I wanted to make, or what I wanted to do, and then draw that on, or sort of stencil that onto the wood rather than freehanding something. Got some some stuff of Pinterest that I sort of liked, some motifs that I enjoyed, and um, just sketching something out here. I sketched the little flower, which um, I wasn't, I wasn't entirely happy with, even while I was sketching. It just looked a little bit flat. And after I'd uh, drawn out the motifs with pencil, I uh, just went over them with some sharpie to uh, have, not have the motive flex smoosh or like go awry on me. I'm just taking out the pencil lines. So now I'm trying to uh, transfer the motif onto the box, and I've, I've kind of put little holes into the uh, lines. I unfortunately lost footage of that somehow. And uh, the idea was to have the chalk go through the holes onto the wood, and it kind of worked, but it obviously the wood isn't fabric and it didn't stick at all, like it was not working. So what I did was I just went over the lines on the back with pencil and then transferred that. If, if I'd had graphite paper, that would have probably saved me a lot of time. It's definitely worth a try. I don't know whether it would work. If you do something like that and try graphite paper as a, mean, as a means of transferring a motif onto wood, let me know. I would really appreciate that. So here I'm just kind of going over the lines with pencil, just kind of press, pressing down on the lines to sort of make the graphite on the other side adhere to the wood. And there you can see it uh, did work. There we are. It's a nice workable line. I was going over some of the paler lines so I can sort of see what I'm doing. I 
just mixing together some paint to get the shade that I want because I've, I've just got a very small selection of acrylic paints and I'm just mixing together some blue and some white and some black to get like a, a dusty, slightly greyish blue for the swallow. Just like slightly thin, thinning that out with a bit of water to make it more spreadable. These acrylic these acrylics tend to be quite viscous. Lapse, but like sort of sped up footage, which I kind of find rather satisfying, to be honest. And with the uh, with this motif, I just decided to just straight up use sharpie again which actually I used as a, a means to do the outlines for the other motifs as well which has turned out quite good and here I'm just creating a little inlay I think I guess I would call it like sort of a, a, a little cloth to go into the bottom of the trays so it's not the, the bare wood on the bottom, it's just like sort of a little added bit of interest. And because I was really hella lazy and I could not be bothered, I just um, took some double-sided tape and uh, cut that to size and stuck it on the back and um, took that off and stuck it into the bottom of the tray. And it worked like a freaking charm and I was very very pleased with that because I <laughs> kind of did that on a whim and I didn't know whether it would work and it did. I, I was very chuffed. And here we are with the finished box. This was a rather relaxing little project. Got to do some painting on wood, which I very much appreciate. I got to do some like vintagey motifs. And I got to uh, sort all of my little things and loose bits and notions into the box again properly. I've got my vintagey buttons, I've got an extra zip which you will uh, see again later in the year for a different project i've got my elastics i've got my needles and some extra thread some uh, needle threaders my cutting devices, a rotary cutter and some pinking shears, which I have yet to use, to be honest. Uh, an extra measuring tape, some eyelets, uh, some like ribbons I uh, magpied from fat quarters I bought, and obviously all of the thread, which 
for the moment because there is nowhere else I can go. I'm just going to live in here in the process of uh, getting myself set up with cotton thread from Glutamon because the, the other threads, the smaller spools, are from a set that I got ages and ages and ages ago. And it's a polyester thread, which I'm using mainly for mock-ups and basting because I don't like. Well, that is it for this little side project. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, do feel free to hit that like button below. And if you are new here, do feel free to subscribe. I would love to see you back for my next video. And uh, yeah, I will now go and have some tea. And I will see you in my next video, wherever you are. Have a lovely day.